So this is going to be a, uh, a follow-up or a part two to the uh, first uh, thing that we discussed before, which was uh, the reflector and the aiming and how are you going to mount that new projector inside of this uh, inside of this reflector. So this is still the Honda Civic that we're working on. And you can see the projector has been installed already, but we're just going to backtrack a little bit and talk about how that was done. So you can see some reference lines right here. We got above here, we got, you know, it's kind of a crosshair we call it. So the hole's been cut out with a, uh, with a drum sander and you can see the backs of the screws coming out. So you can see each screw uh, comes out and this is a, uh, these go directly through holes that were in there. If you're using a projector that doesn't have any mounting holes, you might need to make some. But these come with some mounting holes. A lot of people are going to be doing the threaded, you know, the threaded nut method. Um, in this case, we wanted to recess the whole projector body back and, you know, fine tune the alignment and, the, and everything. So we're going to take a different approach than most do yourselfers, but this is going to go over the whole process. So um, you can see the projector's been mounted. It's all the way recessed. You can see how deep it is. And that gives good shroud clearance because on this model specifically, the lens you can see kind of goes over and out and it's a fairly large projector. You know, the thread mount method is not gonna work on these, uh, on these newer Civics with a larger body projector. So that's why we need to recess it fully. So this is sticking out and now I'm gonna get right back into where we were before, which was with the aiming. So as you guys remember, um, on this particular model, we use this as a reference point. So we're gonna get our square out. This projector's already been set up, so we know it's at the right, you know, uh, the right, the right rotational alignment. You know, and this takes a few different tries. Um, you know, so we're gonna kind of go back and forth. But you can see, I'm using this part right here, and we're going back. So now we're gonna reference the wall. The wall. And you guys can see it's perfectly even. And you guys might recall I was doing a, a height adjustment. And that was at the, uh, the third center block, roughly. And once again, that's going to make sure that we're aligned with our high beams. So I'm going right under this point right here. And I'm, I'm sitting nice and level. And if we look at the wall, we're going to be right at the third center block above the... And this can sway left and right. This isn't for the rotation, this is just the height of the projector. I'm gonna go in ahead and plug in the factory high beam. And you guys can see on the wall where the high beam is in relation to the low beam. So that's what the height adjustment is for. It's positioning, it's giving us reference where the projector should be sitting in reference to the high beam. So if I cover the projector, you can see the low beam and high beam actually, they sort of rest on top of each other with the low beam being you know, more center weighted down to the bottom and the high beam going a little bit higher. You don't want your high beam in the trees. You want it right above the position that you know, people are gonna be getting blinded by if you were to set your low beams that high. So the high beam is a quick you know, on and off for you to see a little bit better, but it's not to see in the trees. It's all about distance and giving you extra coverage. So that covers the up and down and rotation. And the last thing is the left and right. And you can go, you know, eyeball it out. We have the car on site here. I'm gonna show you what we do. It's a little bit difficult to see, to gauge the left and right. You can make all the reference points you want. You can see this nice line right there in the reflector this one going up and down and you can see the body. So, you know, it looks like we've got the right position, but the best way to finalize that part, which once again, most people probably aren't gonna go into if they're doing it themselves, is to throw it back in and get it on the car. So we'll do a, a car test shortly. Uh, it won't be in this video, but this is giving us the extra reference that we need. So this is one final step that we're doing. And this is more by eye before we go through the trouble of putting on the car. And you can see how the shaft of the projector is sticking right out the back. It's nice and even with the high beam location. So we already had to make a few adjustments. We had to point the projector in more. And at this point, it looks like we're, we're looking pretty good as far as the left and right. Once again, 
final adjustment you know on the car to verify if you don't have the car you're doing it by eye unfortunately the civic has fixed the left and right adjuster it only has a up and down adjuster so when you have the left and right adjustment great you know you can eyeball it and you can call it a day but when it comes down to a fixed adjuster point you know you better you know hope to get lucky otherwise you're checking it on the car because there's no other way to get that done so this wraps up this part uh, hopefully in another video we'll sh discuss shroud cutting and clearances but at this point the projector has been mounted we're going to be epoxying those nuts after we cut off the excess of the screws and at that point the projector will be in a fixed position ready to get back to the next stage of the project so stay tuned and we look forward to having you check out our videos